Hello everybody, boys and girls, people of all ages, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, this is part two of the continuity analysis review thingy uh, in regards to this here uh, TV channel from Hungary called Fem3, or I guess the way they pronounce it is uh, Fem Harum or something like that, right? Because fun fact, in Hungary they don't say MP3, they say MP Harum. So, if you thought that every country said MP3, no, you're mistaken. So, uh, the same with the TV channels. They just pronounce all the numbers uh, in the Hungarian way. So, uh, we actually just reviewed this continuity, but there's part two. So, we're going to review part two. So, uh, yeah, we were uh, like reading about the various facts about the TV channel. And, uh, yeah. As a recap, we could say that it launched on January 1st, 2010. Uh, like it changed frequencies in uh, 2016. It's owned by the TV2 gro group by Josef Vida. Uh, audience share is 6.3%. It's quite a, quite a big. And it's from Hungary. Head headquarters with its headquarters in Budapest. That's the capital of Hungary. It's, uh, yeah. it's got a lot of sister channels. And it's available via UPC Hungary. And terrestrially, uh, over Mindig TV. Something like that. Mindig means everything TV, I guess. Not exactly sure, but I heavily suspect that's what it means. Reklam means commercial break, and we're at the commercial break, but we cut out the break so we uh, only see glimpses of the ads. So you see these flowers, these crystalline flowers, soap flowers, I will almost call them. Like they look like a soap commercial. You got a cooking show apparently where they compete to uh, compete against each other. For the title of wackiest racer, no, probably wackiest chef. So yeah, that's actually uh, that actually looked like a promo for a different channel. So um, this channel is all serious and stuff. So yeah, I'm not sure I like this channel. Uh, just to have some fun with it, actually, let us. Read the names of the notable North American shows in the Hungarian, and I'll try to translate them. Like I already know some of them, maybe. Silitet Feleshigek. I do not know what that is. Okay, that's Desperate Housewives. Sherlock Ish Watson. Huh. The uh, the English name is Elementary, and the Hungarian name is Sherlock and Watson, because Ish means end. So uh, interesting, it's a completely different name. Like Elementary means they call it Elementary in English because Sherlock Holmes always says Elementary Watson. Okay, a Grace Clinica, I guess it's the Grace Hospital. Oh, it's Grace Anatomy. Okay. Dr. House is self-explanatory. Hazud ha tuj. Something about house and knowing. Ah, oh, lie to me. It's called lie to me. Ah, Firyam vidami ben. The good wife. Yeah, I don't know. I could guess that. So interesting guessing game in, uh, with Hungarian. I did watch. I did watch some Hungarian TV, TV, so I'm familiar with some words a little bit. But the Hungarian language is very difficult, and yeah, I know only bits and pieces here and there. Not really anything particular. So uh, they got a lot of houses, a lot of fancy places, a beach with waves and everything. Everything but the kitchen sink. I actually saw the kitchen sink as well. So there's like a show where they have a couple madly in love who just wants to find a house to spend their future together inside that house. 
Uh, yeah. That's an interesting promo, like the ending of some kind of show and you still see the flower here. I can't read what's written because the text is too small for me right now. Ayanlo uh, means uh, Oyan means promos. Uh, even the reading the Hungarian words is not intuitive, right? Because they have an A and they have an A with some kind of apostrophe on top of it. And these are two different sounds, like an A and an O. So yeah. And there's then there's the real O. So there's like the O. There's two kinds of O. <laughs> Okay, so married at first what sight? Is that how this show is called? They have a lot of shows that you know, nobody talks about. A lot of shows I haven't mentioned yet. So they have the, the show about marriages. So, Eskivu Elshe Latosha. Yeah, married at first sight. That's just the Hungarian name. So yeah, I don't think you can find this channel any, anywhere else. With a lot of channels, they have an American and British and all kinds of versions. But with this channel, oh wait, I think it came from some kind of channel. Let us search for Fem, Fem the TV channel, Fem TV channel. Fem. Yeah, there is a TV channel called Fem. The first letter of the word, the first letters of the word feminine and roughly homophonous, homophonous sounds the same with them, but also a Nor Norwegian word for five, yeah, is a Norwegian television channel targeting young women. It broadcasts from London and is the second channel of TV Norge, part of SBS Discovery Media. FEM was created for the launch of the digital terrestrial television platform Risks TV and started broadcasting on September 3rd, 2007. This channel will show series such as Dirt and Big Love as well as original programming. Okay, but this is just a similar sounding channel. This is not necessarily related to this channel. This is called FEM3. So, it's kind of a mix between it. A lot of things, and it does not have really any. It just doesn't really make much sense, right? There's no fem one. There's no fem two. <laughs> it's just fem three. And so they took a channel from Norway, which operates from the UK. They took its name and added a three, slapped the three onto it, and called it a day. <laughs> they wanted to call it like I don't know why is that three or something, but then. They also wanted to call it FEM, and they just made a compromise, combined the two channels somehow. Mozi Verzum. This is actually advertising a different sister channel. It happens a lot that channels advertise sister channels. It's a common occurrence. So, FEM 3, is there anything else we can like mention about this channel? I don't think so. I think the lo one of the logos I see when I search for it is is very pink. So it's a channel meant for women, I think. I mean, thinks that's why the topics are all about weddings and catwalks and dresses and posing and looking pretty and handbags. Yeah, it's all about the superficial aspects of being a a woman. Let's search for Fem3. For images. I'm going to describe the images I see. Oh yeah, there are bumpers. I don't know about nowadays, but nowadays all the bumpers are in blue. But there used to be bumpers. They looked exactly the same, but everything was in pink. So I guess they changed from looking pink to looking blue and maybe other colors. Maybe it changes during the time of day, like in the evening it's, it's blue and the daytime it's during the daytime, it's, it's pink. I don't know. I, I, this version, right, like this continuity contains the blue versions of all the bumpers. So, destroying houses. <laughs> oh, wow. 
So did it? Wow, I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. There's crazy art inside a house. But everything is neat and tidy. Very uh, sterile looking. Like, not sure it has a soul. When things have a soul, that they get quite dirty. <laughs> but everything is, looks like nobody's living there yet. So yeah. Nice, nice view from that place. Actually, we're nearing the end of the continuity, and I always get surprised by it, and then I'm in a rush to say what I wanted to say at the end of the video, but not this time. We still got a couple of, I don't know, like a minute left, maybe less than a minute, actually less, so I'm gonna need to hurry. Yeah, If you liked the video, like the video, and also uh, see you, bye-bye, hope you enjoyed it, see ya.